In this video, we will learn about the secrets of uh, parameters in Power Query. So here we have uh, one example table. Let me show you the underlying values. So here we have products table, right? So we have uh, these type of uh, columns in it. And uh, we are interested in the column like uh, category and uh, the list price. It contains 397 rows. For example, we have um, like millions of rows in the table and we don't want to load all the data at once. So for example, depending on the user, uh, we can select uh, the data based on the categories like accessories, bikes and clothing components. And we need to pass uh, these parameters so that the data only load for the selected category. So how we can create and how many uh, how many types of uh, parameters are available in Power Query. We will go through one by one in detail. So let's go to the Power Query editor. Transform data. And here you can see this is a managed parameter. So you can click here either manage parameter or the new parameter because we don't have any parameter at the, at the moment. Uh, like if I click manage parameter, we will get nothing and you can click new. Otherwise, you can also click a new parameter here. So the first parameter is here, here you can see we have uh, suggested value. We have these uh, three types of parameters, any value, list value or the queue. So the name of the parameter will be par underscore any value. Here you can write any description like uh, write any value type is our type of parameter is text because we need to provide uh, categories and uh, what is the current value the current value is for example bikes and we just need to click ok so here, here you can see we are getting one parameter par underscore value the bike spellings are wrong so we need to click again to the manage parameter edit parameter and here we have to write bikes click ok and uh, now the parameter is there and now we need to associate this parameter with the products table so let's go to the column where we need to associate. So click here and uh, here you have to click text filters equal to and here we have to choose the type parameter and what is the name of the parameter is a par underscore any value. Click OK. And here you can see we are getting all the values that belong to bikes and if you close and apply so here you will see we are getting all the data that belong to categories and uh, let's again go to the power query editor if you want to change this parameter to accessories and then we need to just close and apply and here you can see we are getting all the data that belong to accessories by using uh, this kind of uh, parameter any value you can type any value by your own you don't have any option to choose here so let's try to create one more parameter manage parameter new parameter so here we have to write like par underscore what is the name of the next it's a list value so par underscore list and uh, choose any value from the list this is the description and here the type is again text this suggested value is is list of values and here we have to write 
the list manually. So we can create uh, this kind of parameter based on the static values like a few values. So here is the first value is bikes, clothing, accessories for example these are the three values and here you can choose for example bikes and uh, the current value will be again for example bikes click ok and uh, if you look here in the product this is category and here we have choose bikes so why bikes is not there because this value is not being associated with this category so we have to click here and uh, clear filter and here we have to again click on the text filter equal to we have to choose here parameter and uh, the para second parameter is par underscore list the, the newly created parameter click ok so here you can see this is the bikes if you click again to the par list bikes here you can choose any value that you have written in the par underscore list parameter so now let's go to the third type of parameter transform data and uh, we need to click new parameter and here you can see uh, the third parameter is the query so this is the uh, the third parameter is a dynamic parameter so if you go to the product category so here you can see we are getting uh, these parameters in the table if you have a big table that contains like uh, 20 25 or uh, the parameters are being changed or updated frequently then you have to create dynamic parameter that is based on some table and uh, how to create that kind of parameter for this you need to create a list click uh, we can make a copy of this table duplicate and here is the categories list this is the name of the table and uh, then we need to click fx and you know how to create list in the square bracket we need to write the name of the column english that's it so here we have a new list now we need to create the third parameter new parameter and uh, this is the par underscore query this is the name of the parameter here you can write any description here the type is again text and here we have to choose query so here we have to choose category list this one and what is the current value this is for example bikes click ok and uh, now we need to associate this parameter with the products table go here in the category we need to clear the filter and here we have to again text filter equal to here you have to choose the parameter and the third value which is par underscore query that's it now we don't need the other parameters like uh, par underscore value we can delete this one and uh, par clothing and the parameter list we need to delete this one so we have only one parameter click close and apply and if i click transform data edit parameter so here you can see i'm getting this uh, parameter list here if i click components the data from the components category will be loaded so here you can see so it's a component right and if we click edit parameter then again the pop-up will come and here you can see here you can choose like clothing click ok and apply changes so here you can see clothing right and uh, we need to use uh, one more parameter here 
let's go to the transform data. So here I need to create uh, one more parameter, a new parameter and the name is par underscore price. The value is decimal number and here you can choose any value and it's like 12. Click OK. And uh, now we need to apply this, this parameter to the list price. Here we have one column, the list price. And greater than. Here we have to choose parameter, price, click OK. OK, so here you can see we are getting all the list price, which is greater than 12, this one. And uh, now close and apply. And here if I click edit parameter, so here you will see the clothing. Uh, like accessories and the unit price I can write here like 50 greater than 50 so you will see here apply changes so accessories and greater than 50 right so you can choose uh, multiple parameters in it and uh, let's uh, let me show you one last part so we need to save this file as a Power BI template and the name is we can write here parameters categories uh, when you will send this file to anybody he cannot see all the data at once he will he, he needs to choose the parameters and then he will see uh, the data accordingly so uh, double click and here you will see these two parameters right this is a dynamic parameter power underscore query so here you can choose like uh, clothing and uh, here you can choose the price like if i say greater than 20 so the data that fulfill this criteria that will be loaded so see clothing and list price is greater than 12. So this is all about input parameters in Power Query. So we have seen three types of parameters. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.